Hi everybody. So I haven't done a lot of the uh, video blogging lately because, well, frankly I got all the windows clean at one point and I didn't feel like getting them all messed up with that mount. But I had a moment today of, of beautiful karma on the road and I just thought I would share with, with you. Uh, my wife is joking that I'm a horrible person about this, but I feel like it's karma. Karma comes around to everybody at some point, I suppose. So we both went out to lunch and we were, uh, we met for lunch. And actually, my wife was in the Tesla, and I was driving her car, which is our Outback. And as we left the restaurant, a, um, a little red Honda Civic pulled in behind me. Remember, I'm in the Outback following my wife, who's driving the Tesla. And this little red Civic is just on my bumper. I mean, just like all I see is about from here up on the driver and the, the roof, and that's it. And she's just just right on for no reason it's a two-lane road going through suburban area there's no passing zones there's there's not really much traffic uh, there's clearly another car in front of me she couldn't have known that we were together but my wife is driving at a respectable pace and I'm giving her the appropriate amount of because I don't want to rear in my own car obviously uh, it's already been rear ended once so as we're going down this road this Civic is just on my butt just gotta be right there you know Kind of like this, kind of just following like this, just wants to be right close to me like that. And I am a little sensitive to people following me that closely, especially since we've already replaced the back of that car. We've been hit on both of the other cars that we used to have. And this car, so far, nobody's run into. But today seemed like a possibility because, again, with all these suburban streets, there's lots of cross traffic, people pulling out and things like that. So the moment came when... Uh, I saw my wife up ahead kind of do a real quick jog like this toward the shoulder and I thought what the heck is she doing because it was a very strange move to make on this section of road and of course then I saw what it was and it was a huge pothole a gigantic crater uh, full of water who knows how deep it was I think they probably could find the Titanic in this particular pothole and I thought well here's my moment to make to maybe make a point and uh, sure enough the driver behind me She's just, again, right up on my bumper, following super close, just suckered right in. So I approached this pothole, which is right in the lane of travel, and at the last minute, I did a little quick move, and I straddled it with the Subaru. And then I looked in the rearview mirror, of course, immediately, and I see the uh, little Honda behind me go, kabababump, you know, and goes right into this pothole. Just nailed this pothole. Now, she didn't get a flat tire right away because she turned off at the next uh, neighborhood which I think is where she was going anyway. But at the very least, this woman's gonna wonder why her alignment is so bad, probably when she drives it tomorrow, if she doesn't end up with a flat tonight. To which I say, you know what? Maybe you should learn the lesson. Maybe you shouldn't follow people so closely because they put this big piece of glass on the front of the car. See this big piece of glass? Look, this car has it too. So that you can see the road in front of you. And if you are following the car, in front of you so closely that you can't see the actual road surface? You deserve to hit a pothole. You deserve to get a flat tire. You deserve to have a screwed up alignment. And as I drove away, I thought, hopefully this woman has learned her lesson. And for those of you out there who like to tailgate, consider that. Those of us who don't like being tailgated, now I'm not gonna brake check you or anything like that, but if I can sucker you into a pothole of which we have a lot of opportunity around here, by golly, I bet you I can outmaneuver a pothole I can see versus the one you can't see because you're following so close. So back off everyone, chill out, and we'll all get there safely without causing damage to anybody's cars. Thanks. And uh, anyway, that was, my, that was my moment of karma today, uh, or karma for somebody else, I should say. <sighs> super irritating, super irritating. I almost wish that we didn't have rear view mirrors and didn't have uh, back windows so that I wouldn't have to deal with you know, knowing that these people are just, are just there waiting to ram into me. Um, just tired of it. Just tired of my car being in the shop from other people running into it. Anyway, have a good day, everybody, and uh, drive safe.